All right, what we're looking at here is we're trying to find the molar solubility of a compound. In this case, it's zinc sulfide. Um, and we're going to do this disassociation in water into zinc ions and sulfide ions. So what we have to do here is, first of all, we have to write our ice table. So I, C, E, just like that. Remember, this is our initial concentration, our change in concentration, and our equilibrium concentrations. Well, we can't have different concentrations of solids. They're just a just a solid. Um, so what we have to do in an ice table, don't even consider solids or liquids. Um, this is only for aqueous solutions or gases. So now what we have to do is, well, if we're taking zinc sulfide, basically just dropping it in water, we're going to start with no, none of the ions. So these will both be zero, and we're going to see that some ions will appear. So we know because the stoichiometric coefficients here are both one, we're just going to have to add basically plus some number, and this one will also be the same, plus some number. We'll just call it x. So 0 plus x and 0 plus x, we're going to find that our equilibrium concentrations are both x. Okay, that's cool. Um, now we should probably not get ahead of ourselves, and we should probably write down the equilibrium expression, which we have here, we can write it here, will be Ksp is going to be equal to the concentration of the products, which we have, um, here we have zinc 2 plus, and sulfides, we have 2 minus. Um, and now, like I said, we can't have concentrations of a solid. That doesn't make any sense. So for any solids that we find, or a pure liquid as well, we don't include those in our equilibrium expressions. So now that we know this, um, we can just go down here and just finish up writing this. We know that Ksp was equal to 1.1 um, 1 .1 times, times 10 to the negative 21. And this is equal to x times x, right? There we go. x times x, both of the equilibrium concentrations here, or we could just write this as, you know, x squared. And then when we solve for x, we can just write it here. We can solve for x. All we have to do is take the square root of both sides. So we can just put this in here, 1.1 1 .1 times 10 to the negative 21. And then we will find that x is equal to... Uh, if you punch that in your calculator, you get about 3.32, uh, real 2, 3.32 uh, times 10 to the negative 11. And this here, this x value that we're getting, um, is our molar solubility of zinc sulfide in moles per liter.